haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. Some might blame the fog. <laughs> Me? I'd say Green Lake truly is in the middle of nowhere. Hank's voicemail. He sounded urgent, yet unhinged. Early onset dementia. <sighs> Probably couldn't handle retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. Research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? What does he think he's to? Ah! I. What? The, what the fuck? Are, are you? Are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Ah! Ah! Whoa, whoa, ah! Whoa, God! Ah! Ah! God, my head. Seatbelt. Get out of here. I got a flashlight somewhere. Shit, they're coming after me. <clears throat> I'd better hide. Turn off the flashlight. Move your ass, John. <laughs> God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. God, where am I? Green Lake. Near my father's house. <coughs> Maybe I can get there. I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. Oh no. Here comes the van again. Uh, where, where can I go? Run! The order is in! Shoot the target! I repeat, shoot the target! Hell no. God. God, shit! I think I lost him. Some kind of military outfit? No military that I know. God, this is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I can't handle the stress. The 
Research Institute. Look at all those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for things that stand out. Files, pictures, audio tapes, that sort of stuff. For now, all I got going is the voicemail. Let's have a listen. All these letters. When was the last time Hank emptied this box? Didn't know Hank kept a van. Why would he need it anyway? He lives here all alone. Probably one of his tinkering projects. Power hasn't been cut off or anything. So why is there no light coming from the house? way. Hank's old canoe. I remember him yelling at the store manager because it had a scratch on it and he wanted a discount. <laughs> he always had a temper. Damn. It's locked. Maybe there's a key? A gnome. Really, Hank? A key. Must be the key to the kitchen. The key fits. It's dark inside. I don't like it. What was that? Breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body and you hit your head badly. You're spooked. 
It's all. This image is important. I should put it in my journal. Who's here? information. I should write this down. Shit, what the... <sighs> breathe, John, breathe. after the divorce that we started writing letters. I remember him talking about all the time he spent fishing. We sure as hell never went fishing together.
still missing something. Part of a photograph with mom on it. There's a number written there. Eight. what I just found. <laughs> this is Hank Morris, July 2015. Today, me and the team were clearing the old storage room so the observatory to create some space. Finally got a new coffee station I requested. And it was about time we got Carter's own office. Anyway, turns out those rooms haven't been open for 20 years at least. It was filled to the brim with all these boxes full of old telemetry sheets and research papers. I called it in at Mr. Reed's office, got Ellen on the line. She said she'd send a team from head office immediately to come and pick up the files, saying they should have been shredded years ago anyway. Do you imagine that? Throwing away all that research? I figured there could be some interesting data in there we could use to match with the 2010 signal readings. So, as quick as silver, I grabbed a box and squared away some of the files in my car just before the team of head office came in. God, those guys are rough around the edges. I just read one of the reports. It's incredibly interesting. There's actual talk in there of extraterrestrial signals. In the 70s and 80s, they recorded a whole bunch of strange signals. Now, I've had a quick look at the telemetry, and I know it's way too soon for conclusions, but those signals look very alike to what we encountered in 2010, but more rudimentary somehow. Imagine that. Extraterrestrials. My first thoughts in 2010 were, this is a form of communication. Now, why didn't they publish these records? I'm thinking of maybe bringing home some equipment from work and doing some extra hours. Ah, oh, this is a great find. This will keep me busy for hours. Finally, something to take my mind off things. was that? No, no. It's okay. At least part of the house has power now. Driver? Better bring it along. A recorded tape. I should keep my eye out for these. This is Hank Morris, December 2014. I'm pissed. I want to get something off my chest. So, Barbara recently died. 
You know it's been nine years since I went to Green Lake and marriage ended, but still. She was a fine woman and a great researcher. It's a waste. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. See, I've just come off the phone with Jonathan. God, that boy drives me mad. I went to all this trouble talking to Mr. Reed, that's my boss, to get a job for Jonathan at the research department. I had to do some real hard talking, but made a good case. With Jonathan's background in psychology and all that, I had it all sorted out. I then called Jonathan, told him about the job, and offered he could live with me. Still have his room at the ready. But he outright refused me. Said he wants to go to the police academy, uh, become a cop instead, or, or a detective, or something like that. I mean, it's a goddamn waste of a good research education, if you ask me. And an F you to the old man. I'm... Uh, I guess I'm just disappointed. something. is important. I should put it in my journal. Never fits? Recorded tape. I should keep my eye out for these. Uh, looks like there's a number here. Four. Past my prime, my ass. <sighs> this is Hank Morris, October 2019. I've just been sent off on retirement. But I've held this job for 14 years now and did it well. I'm still young. I'm only 65. They still have scores years in me. But they wouldn't let me. Said it was time I let the younger guys push the boundaries of science. Well, so now I'm stuck at home. Just me and yours truly. God, what will I do all day? I'll miss the talks at the coffee table, but I don't reckon my colleagues will come visit much. And I'm not quite the social call type myself, either. Ah, boy. Well, at least I'll have more time for my research into the alien presence in Greenlight. I'm quite sure I'll be able to pinpoint the ship they are hiding on soon. 
Just need a little more time so I can finally prove my theory. So sure as hell, I ain't going to return the WASCOM satellite I borrowed. No siree. Before taking all my stuff from the office, I set up all my work accounts for it. Remote access, built in a little backdoor for myself. I'll be able to tap into the RICS network from here just fine. Yeah, maybe I'll do some digging into all that research of the 70s and 80s that they're so hush-hush about. Maybe I'll even publish a paper about it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll show them some boundary-breaking research. A bunch of dimwits. at this angle, it looks like there's a number. A six. Got it. Whatever's upstairs, this door kept people out. Or something in. Okay, Hank. I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Are you here? I need more light. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shit! Fuck! Uh, uh, it's, it's some kind of... plant? Uh, it's slowing down. 